and welcome to this lesson at Sweetwater Sound. I'm happy to be here and I'm wearing yellow, the color of learning. All right, and uh, this is the most important lick that I can ever show you. It's the core of pretty much all my fast playing that works. What do I mean by that? Is, 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 could it be that some fast playing doesn't work? A lot of it doesn't work. The stuff that works for me that's like indestructible and I can depend on it even when you know, everything's going wrong, is all based on the techniques that are inside of this phrase. Uh, one of the reasons that it's indestructible is that I played it a lot when I was a kid because I, it was the only lick that I knew. So I played it for like a year straight, and what is the lick? It's three notes. The first one is a bend. It's in key of A. We're going to bend. You know that bend already, so that, that's not a big deal. But make sure you're using the giant finger. These three fingers together. Team. Now, I'm already going to make an exception to the giant finger because we need the first finger to do the next part, which is this bar on the fifth fret. And that's our next two notes, E and A. So we're, we're going to compromise our giant finger just slightly, and it's still giant enough. It's, it's, it's two, but make sure you got both of those. And again, if you were playing it really slow, I would use all three, but we're going to play it fast. You've probably seen me on YouTube playing a million miles an hour, and you're probably thinking to yourself, that's not the fastest thing you can play. Why are you showing me this, this slow thing? Because this is the core technique, and if you so stay with me. This is really important. And plus, it just sounds good. It's like Ace Freely from the first Kiss Live album. <laughs> kind of where I got it, either that or my guitar teacher from when I was 11. The other day I was, uh, you know, how old am I now? 52, and I'm still playing this lick and loving it, so if nothing else, it's just a good one. L let's try it. Well, we're going we're gonna to do that bend. Those two notes, we're just going to loop it in triplets and we're going to stomp our foot. What is the picking? This is really important, and this is where you're going to get the benefit if you do it the way I show you, which is going to be down, up, up. That's the secret. Down, up, up. And that is really counterintuitive for most players. And if it was, if it was not counterintuitive and you just had it already, then you wouldn't need to watch this because you wouldn't learn anything. This is probably new for you, and that's why it's going to be valuable, because it's going to open up doors to all kinds of things. And so let's try it again. Make sure you play it slow enough where you're aware of those strokes, where you're really able to tell that that is a down, you know, look at your hand, they go up, up. Now at a slow tempo, anything will work. So you might be like going, hey, I can do it this other way and it works. Yes, it does when it's slower, but you want to be able to do it pretty quick. Now the other thing that's important is that the notes are not ring, ringing together. Now sometimes it can sound cool if they ring together, especially if you've got a cleaner tone. You know. It kind of gets, you know, there's a little chaos gets in there, a good chaos. But the goal here, to the thing that will really improve your technique, is to make the notes individuals. As soon as one one ends, the other begins. Well, I guess the most important thing is, is to end them as you go to the next one. How do you do that? The secret is this part of your hand, and as you play this, you know, as you play the first note, you, you, you stop it and go to the next one. So it's a little bit of, of this muting on the bridge, muting as you go, and also, you know, with your left hand, you can you can let off on that on that note and mute it there. But just main thing is to listen to it. And make sure you're, you're getting separate. Notes, and as you speed up, keep your ear really focused to make sure. And here's how you could practice it. You could you could not use the left hand at all. That way, this can't mute you know, because it's not even on the guitar, and do this. That way you can tell if, if you're muting or not. So down, up, up. 
And I know this isn't as exciting as, you know, being burned through scales right now, but this is the thing. You gotta believe me, this is the one that's gonna work for you. And this is this is very much you know not everybody has to do this but I, I've been surprised I've 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 like you know secretly kind of tested out other famous guitar players I won't tell you who they are but I was gonna I'll try this and not a lot of people do this they, you know what other people do is they find like other ways around it they might do hybrid picking or some other way of doing it but if you just I like the tone of the pick which is you know the pick is a tone control. That's the thing. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little plug here. I've got my JHS Cran pedal, which really makes the pick attacks giant. When I play this with the pedal on, it it just like it, it's just killing. <laughs> You know what I'm going to do on the on the next lesson? I'm going to show you how you can take this and expand it to you know the terrifying stuff that I've been promising. But you, you got to do this first. I, I played this for like a year, and it, it it really you know from looking back and realizing where a lot of my scarier things came from, this is the one. So stomp down, up, up, and do that bend with the two fingers. All good. Rock and roll!